Hi everyone and welcome back to Brown Beautiful. I have finally managed to upload this video after two production fails. You have no idea. But here it is now and that's important. This is a gold and burgundy smoky eye that is sexy, seductive and oh so Bollywood. I was definitely inspired by a few pictures I saw of Aishwarya Rai and Kareena Kapoor. Uh, floating on the internet, it's very 90s. But in the 90s, gold and burgundy eyeshadows paired with like a matte brown lip were all the rage. So this is my take on it and I hope you enjoy this look. So please stay tuned and keep watching. In a moment, I'm going to start with a super moisturized face and use a bit of foundation. I'm using the Kat Von D Lock It Foundation and my Makeup Forever HD Foundation on a cosmetic palette and applying it all over my face with a beauty blender. I want maximum coverage with this look, so I'm going to bounce the foundation all over my face. You don't need a lot with the Kat Von D foundation, it's so thick, it also covers uh, tattoos, not that I'm ever going to cover mine. Moving on to the eyes, first I'm going to use the Maybelline Color Tattoo liberally all over my eyelids and the lower eyelid as well. Then I'm going to set the area with my Laura Mercier Translucent Powder. I was definitely inspired by Nikki Tutorials to do this. I can see that it really helps me really blend the multiple eyeshadows I tend to use and it also avoids creasing, it also helps the eyeshadow stay put for a few hours at least. Today I'm using the Masquerade by Juvia's Place and I'm using the colour Burkina here to build my transition shade. I'm using a fluffy brush for this, a medium sized one to apply it, one layer at a time using really light strokes. Next I'm building up the colour on the crease using the colour Zobo which is this beautiful burgundy shade with bits of Purple. I'm using a smaller brush for this one so that the colour is most vibrant on the crease and it gets lighter as we blend it upwards. I'm swirling the brush upwards and outwards to enhance the natural elongation of my eyes. Blending the eyeshadow outwards can also be quite flattering for uh, rounded eyes, hooded eyes in particular. Then I'm going in with Fulani just on the outer V. I'm going to add a darker shade there later but for now I just want to create a base. Again blending some of the burgundy on the crease so the edges are seamless and well diffused. I'm using Giza here which is a lovely shimmery gold colour on the eyelids. I'm gently patting that on and also using some setting spray so the gold is more exaggerated. Taking the gold on my lower eyelid as well and then I'm also blending in some of that burgundy on top of the gold. Now we repeat that on the other eyelid in the same manner. I go back and blend that crease shade once again before using the black from the Sleek Chaos palette to define the outer V ever so slightly. I'm not using a lot of black as you can see, just enough to exaggerate the outer corner and give it some depth and create dimension to the whole look. Now I'm using the same brush to define the lower eyelids as well. I'm going to clean up any fallout with a cotton bud and then quickly popping some Giza on the brow bone as a base highlight. So I went ahead and did my eyebrows off camera so they're really bushy and dark and now I'm going to use the colour pop black gel liner swerve to tight line the upper and lower water lines using an eyeliner brush. Here I'm using my new L'Oreal voluminous liquid eyeliner pen to line my upper lash line and create an extended wing. This takes time, patience and practice to perfect so never ever give up. Now with my new infallible black velvet liquid eyeliner, I'm going to smudge the lower lash line as well. This pen has a flat spongy tip so smudging is super easy. Seriously though, this has become my ride or die product. If you've blobbed your eyeliner, no matter, you just need a cotton bud to quickly clean it up. Now going over it with the same burgundy shade just to make sure the look is soft and smudged and not too harsh. For my mascara, I'm using my a new voluminous feline mascara. You've seen me rave about this one on Twitter and Instagram. They make my lashes super coated, super long and super curvy. I swear, 
even my mom thinks I have fake lashes on. This is definitely my favorite L'Oreal mascara and this is the only one that I use on its own. It's that good. Now I'm using a mix of my MAC Studio Finish and Maybelline concealers to cover my dark circles and highlight the under eye area. To save time, I dip the sponge tip of the Maybelline concealer into the Studio Finish one and now I'm getting a double dose of concealer in a fraction of the time. I'm using a beauty blender to blend it into the skin. I like to call this the Kardashian brightener wherein you brighten the front of your face and contour the perimeters to give you, um, you know, give your face dimension. I'm setting it all with my Laura Mercier powder. I'm using the damp beauty blender to do this. This is a technique that Kylie Jenner, I believe, uses. Apparently, this stops creasing the under eye area and corners of the mouth as well. To contour, you all know by now, I only ever use the Anastasia Beverly Hills Cream Contour Kit in deep. Here I'm contouring my cheeks a layer at a time, curving it towards my nose, then I'm going to contour my nose, my chin, my forehead, the sides of my face, making sure I have a frame to my chubby face. <laughs> I'm going to set the contour using my dusty but trusty Blunt Powder Blush by MAC and then a final dusting of translucent powder all over my face. Next I'm using my Sun Dipped Glow Kit by Anastasia Beverly Hills again. The shade Summer is my absolute favourite, I've been using this a lot recently. You've probably seen me mention this on Twitter and Instagram as well. I love it on the top of my cheeks, the bridge of my nose, Cupid's bowl, my brow bone and the top of my brow as well. I'm going to spray some of the mist and fix setting spray on the sides of my cheeks and then dab the area with the beauty blender so that the highlight looks like a glow from within. Moving on to the blush, I'm using this cheek and cream palette by The Balm. I'm using this colour pie to add the slightest bit of colour on the apples of my cheeks. I'm not big on blush, especially if I have very strong eye makeup going on. Now for my lips, I'm using the um, NYX Lip Liner in, I believe, Downtown Beauty to line my barely there lips and then I'm going to top that off with liquid lipstick. This is Anastasia Beverly Hills and the colour is Ashton. It's a lovely matte brown and surprise, I'm using no other colour here. I think it's beautiful on its own, especially very flattering on this look. So for the absolute final touch now, I'm popping these red cherry lashes and we are ready. I really hope that you like this look. If you do, then do subscribe and like this video for more makeup tutorials. I have to be off now, so I'll see you guys in my next video. Thank you so much for watching.